Hey, I'm Bruce Mitchell, the Alligator Man. I want to show you how to cook some good catfish the way I do. jug line right here. We take a old drink bottle, tie a string on it, put a hook and a string on it. And what we're going to do here, put that cap on there, and we'll get a good piece of this bait right here. We're going to hook it on there, yeah, just like that. Then we're going to get over here and we're going to back this boat up. All right, y'all, the potatoes take the longest to cook, so we're gonna get started with these. We're gonna start cutting these boogers up right now. I like to cut them like this and leave the peelings on it. Oh, golly, the peelings make it good. I can remember digging these out the ground with my grandma, grandpa and them. As soon as you dig them out, you bring them inside and cook them up. Oh, and that's what they used to call new potatoes. All right, we got our potatoes cut up. We're gonna throw them in this little pan here. Now here's where everything changes. We got a little salt. We got some half and half. All right. Well, I'll take my handy dandy trusty water bottle. And most people say, well, golly, what's he doing now? Well, we ain't through yet now. Watch this. Here we go. This is some crab ball. Half a teaspoon in this is plenty. But we will jack up the potatoes and make them taste so good. Oh, we, we stir that up a little bit. Mmm, that smells so good already. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a lid on this, and we're gonna bring it over here, and we're gonna start boiling it. All right, now I'm gonna show y'all how to make Cajun butter. This is the way we used to do it when I was a kid. Uh, only thing different is we used to have a cow. Now, this is half and half whipping cream, okay? This is how we used to make butter as a kid. We're going to pull this whipping cream right there. We're going to add just a tad of salt. Yes, it's pink Himalayan salt. Now, all we have to do is shake, 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 baby. Now we're gonna shake this up. It'll take a couple minutes. When I was a kid, my grandma got up every morning and milked the cow. As she milked the cow, she would bring it back in and get the cream off of it. And she'd give these kids a big jar. We had a bigger jar. And we would shake that jar, shake that jar until we made butter. And we had fresh butter every morning. With no supermarkets we went to when I was a kid. What I'm waiting to hear is the clunking. And if you've never made butter before, you don't know what clunking is. But in just a minute, this stuff is gonna get start getting thick. And it goes clunk, 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 clunk. That's when you know it's just about ready. Then you have to dump the, the whey off. And then you shake it a little more, and then you got butter. It's gonna be cool, y'all. Most people never heard butter being made, but listen, it's a cool sound, ain't it? Shake, 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 shake your booty. No, it's shake, 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 shake your butter. 
All right, y'all, it's clunking. You know what that means? That means we got butter. Y'all see it there? Okay. We definitely got butter right here, y'all. Look at that. And that's how Grandma made butter. Mmm. That tastes like butter. I'm gonna go put this in the fridge and let it firm up a little bit. Oh yeah. We got taters here. Mm-hmm. Cut the fire off. Now notice this is cooked in whipping cream with crab oil in it. This is why I cook outside, y'all. So I couldn't. All right, y'all. We're just gonna mix these up right here in the pot. And the first thing I'm gonna do, probably gonna add a little more salt. Okay, now we're gonna put some Blackstone seasoning on here. Cajun seasoning, boy, this is some pretty good stuff here. We're gonna start mashing these taters up. Uh-oh, I need one more ingredient, my butter. And magically it appears, throw some chunks in it. Oh, a lot of butter, so butter makes it better. All right, we're gonna mash these taters up. The crab ball, the uh, seasoning, blackstone seasoning, it all just makes it so good. And notice I didn't peel the potatoes, that was on purpose. I don't know about y'all, but I don't like my potatoes fine, fine, fine mess. I like a little chunk to them. So we're probably gonna quit right there. All right, now we're gonna cook some corn and some green beans. First thing I do, I got my thing on, my blackstone on, about medium heat there. I'm gonna squirt a little oil on here. Vegetables are easy on blackstone. Just put your little corn on there, little green beans, and then we're gonna add some of that fresh butter I made, a little Cajun season, we're ready to go. All right, y'all, while we're waiting on this to cook, we're gonna make a real simple sauce to put on your fish. First, you start out with some butter. We're not even gonna write this one down. Some brown sugar and the good stuff, crystal hot sauce. Then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna scoop these beans over like that. And I'm gonna sit this right here on straight on the griddle for right now. We're gonna let this heat up. I got my spoon right here. We're gonna stir it around a little bit. All we're doing is melting this butter. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do once it starts getting melted here, we're gonna stir it up and we're gonna taste it. Because we might have to add a little bit more hot sauce. Mm, just about perfect. But I think we need to add a little more hot sauce. What do y'all think? Just a dab it, do you? Okay, we're gonna set this down right here. And we're fixing to cook our fish. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm fixing to put this fish on here. I'm gonna steam it up a little bit. I'm gonna move my corn over a little bit. And we're gonna clean this surface well. Clean the surface up a little bit. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little oil on this griddle and get ready to cook our fish. I'm gonna spread this around a little bit. Let it get good and hot. We're gonna get some Cajun seasoning and put it on this fish. And, oh God, this is some good stuff. All right, y'all, we're fixing to put the fish on the griddle. Watch this. Oh boy, listen to the sizzle. All right. All right, now, I'm gonna get some more Cajun seasoning and put on the back side of this. A little bit of Then we're gonna sit back and wait. All right, it's time to flip these fish. Oh yeah. All right, y'all, we're fixing to plate all this stuff up. We'll start with these good old potatoes. Oh, y'all, mm, mm, mm. Now we're gonna get over here and get some of our vegetables and put them on the plate. These green beans. Oh, yeah. All right, now all we have to do now is take this fish off. Wow, is that pretty or what, y'all? Mm, mm. Oh, boy, I'm ready to eat this, but one more thing. We're gonna have to put some of this good sauce on it. Oh, we. I think I'm good or what? Oh, golly. This sauce is a killer, y'all. It's good on a lot of other stuff. Okay, we're fixing to eat this. Mmm. Mmm. 
golly, that stuff is good. Fresh fish, fresh butter, Blackstone seasoning. It's all just super good. If you want these recipes, go to blackstoneproducts.com. It's some good stuff. Now this is pretty cool, but who thought of this? You know what I'm talking about? Or did they put some cream on the back of old horse and buggy and was riding somewhere? When they got there, it done shook up made butter. Don't know. Wonder who made the first butter. If y'all want this recipe, go to Black Beef. <laughs> Black Beef. <laughs>